Hey Measuring Hero, Jay here. Today uh, we are going to talk a little bit about uh, PyWeb, but mostly we're going to hang out with Josh. Josh, thanks for coming in. Thanks for hey, doing this. Thanks Appreciate a lot, it. Jay, for having me again. Of course, of course. Um, so listen, we almost ran into each other in the U.S. We were in the U.S. together at Cross the same time. Cross paths, almost, yeah. Almost. Well, uh, I'm sorry I missed you in the U.S., but I'm glad we got to catch up here and actually in person this time here in Overcoat. Yeah, absolutely. It's great to be back in the demo center here and uh, get to see everybody. So a little bit normal contact and getting out of the house a little bit. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, all right, what do you have for us today? Well, I think, um, you know, we have a lot of uh, new functionality. It's just, um, we just released our fall release about, mm -hmm. um, I think two or three weeks ago. And I think we have a little bit of something for everybody. We um, took a look at our performance for our customers that are doing more dashboard views, mm -hmm. um, calling up a lot of data, and we, we significantly lowered the time for loading reports from multiple minutes down to a few seconds. Oh, really? So our customers are really gonna see an improvement um, in performance uh, when they're using the software. Um, we introduced a new functionality that customers can actually view reports now without a license. So we're, our whole goal is to, you know, get people into using PyWeb and get a little bit bigger footprint at customers and kind of um, decrease that burden of having to buy licenses and getting some exposure to the software. So that's also something new. Sure. And then um, what I was gonna show you today was um, focusing on the interactivity of PyWeb. Customers are always coming to us and saying they need an easier way to look at data. They want to have their, um, maybe their users that aren't really experts in PyWeb being able to manipulate the data and then see exactly on the on the part itself maybe where the results are out of tolerance that they can get these really quick visual cues about uh, what they need to do to maybe improve right. their process okay so can we have a look at it yeah absolutely jay so let's take this idea of um, creating interactivity within a report here we have um, just a cad model um, like we're used to uh, creating a static image we mm -hmm. can take our characteristic from the, the database, drag it into our report. I created a template beforehand just to show a little bit of a line diagram um, and kind of a, st a status indicator. Um, mm -hmm. We can press refresh and then we get this view. So if we look at this in uh, monitor, which is what the end user sees, then I see um, a good overview of this characteristic. I see a line diagram. Mm -hmm. um, I can click on the information here and it's then fairly interactive. Um, what we can now do is then do a little bit more interactivity inside of a um, interactive CAD model. Okay. So um, I prepared another page here just with an interactive CAD view. So this was always an existing element inside mm -hmm. of PyWeb. If I look at this um, interactive CAD view inside a monitor, which is what my end user would see, mm -hmm. then I can go ahead and, and rotate, zoom in and out of this CAD model sure. and it's interactive. Um, but now what we can do is take these um, predefined templates that the user defines mm -hmm. or the ones that are built into the software, mm -hmm. and then I can build these into the interactive view. Mm -hmm. So let's go mm -hmm. ahead and take a look at how we might do that. So first of all, um, I take a look at my interactive CAD view, and then I go to the Properties tab. And then under Labels, we now have the option to show user-defined labels. Okay, okay. So a little box will appear in the upper left-hand side. And then what I can do is go to my toolbox and take any one of the um, particular shapes or templates. I mm -hmm. defined one of my um, own templates a little bit earlier. The one you did, yeah? Yep, I can just drag and drop it right into the um, template field here. Mm -hmm. And then when I look at this in the um, uh, monitor view, this is what the end user would see. Then I automatically see this view with the connecting lines drawn to the particular mm -hmm. characteristics. So what's interesting is when wow. I rotate this, yeah. then those lines will then follow, which creates a kind of a, an easier view for the operator to then see where his characteristics and where his measurements actually sure, are. Sure, sure. So it's better than just defining uh, uh, views and then setting up. It, it actually interactively works. Uh, with exactly. Yeah. So what's interesting is yeah. this is just a kind of a fundamental element or functionality inside mm -hmm. of PyWeb. What we can do now is then build on top of this okay. with other standard functionality that anybody that uses PyWeb knows and, and uses for, for pretty much every application. For example, hyperlinks mm -hmm. and uh, filtering mm -hmm. of data to make this um, interactive um, simple element really come to life and then 
with the with the um, effect for the end users that it's really easy to use and then see what he needs to look at for his oh, data. Cool. Yeah. So I prepared a, just a it. different example here where we take a look at a um, typical um, characteristic table and an interactive CAD view. So what I can do is take a look at this for the end um, monitor user. Mm -hmm. And I see a list of my characteristics. And then on the left hand side, I see a CAD model. Mm -hmm. This CAD model is also interactive. Um, but when I'm in the production, sometimes I want a really quick view about maybe where that problem is yep. in my production. So what I can do is um, if I'm just looking for a quick overview, I notice there's a characteristic that might be some looks often, weird down there. <laughs> yeah, something looks a little bit weird. I might want to take a closer look at it. Um, but trying to look at this uh, yeah. screen where, where is that is at, and then it's a little bit difficult to navigate to it. So what I've done is just create a hyperlink on every um, line of this table. And when I click on that line, then that will automatically be filtered on the left hand side. And then my okay. end user gets a really quick um, overview about maybe where that characteristic of interest might be. Sure. So this is kind of how we would build on these different um, tools inside of PyWeb mm -hmm. that the end user can really navigate to the area of interest really quickly. Right. And then of course, since these tools are really flexible, you're only really limited about the by your imagination. With imagination. Absolutely. So. so you're really just creating a tool set to be able to uh, thumb through your data uh, in a very intuitive way, whatever intuitive means. To, exactly. To With the goal is to really make that data uh, data um, easily consumable by the end yeah. user, even if he's not the the biggest statistic expert or, yeah. or the biggest software expert. That it's intuitive yeah. and that uh, the user can come on their to their data really quickly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you just see something, click on it, and you got there. it. Oh man, uh, Josh. Uh, Thanks for a brief overview of uh, what's new in PyWeb, but more uh, importantly, it's really good to see you in person uh, and uh, yeah. here in Oberkoken. <laughs> I hope to see you for our next release as well. I think that will be yeah. really, really some new exciting things coming then as well. So Maybe next time let's do it back in, in Minneapolis. Sounds good. All right. All right. Awesome. Awesome. And for you out there, don't forget to stay safe and stay healthy, and we'll see you next Thursday.